sponsored by Woo EV. If you have an electric car and are looking for all-weather mats, please visit WooEV.com. Here you can see they have four Genesis, Hyundai, Kia, and Tesla. Um, the video today is a review of the um, Woo EV's um, all-weather mats for the GV60. So if you have a Genesis GV60, go there and you can order your mats online. Also, we'll have a code listed below. And in that code, you'll be able to get $20 off your next purchase. So please visit Woo EV if you're looking for all weather mats or other accessories for your electric vehicle. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Car Spec Garage. And in today's episode, we're gonna be reviewing Woo EVs, all weather mats for the Genesis GV60. Uh, this is the first um, company I've seen to create them. Uh, we were able to hook up together and partner uh, with each other. So I'm excited to be getting their products and testing them out on the GV60 and be able to show you guys um, what's out there and the quality of their products. Um, Cause I think that's number one. I think that we'll always um, look and say, WeatherTech is probably the best out there, maybe Husky. And so how, do, how does Woo EVs maps um, size up to the competitors? So let's get to the unboxing and get started. All right. So just got through unboxing it and ended up getting a bonus. Uh, looks like they sent me their cargo privacy shade. I know the car comes with one, but hey, this will be really cool to see how it um, sizes up to the OEM version in the car. And you never know if you buy one of these used and they're, the shade's not in there, the cargo shade's not in there, then hey, you, you can at least go to Woo EV and pick up one. So this is the back row here. And then we have the driver's side here. And I'll pick one up here in a second and just kind of show you how thick everything is. And then the, uh, the passenger side. So we got a total of um, <clears throat> four thing, you know, four four pieces. Um, the the mats itself, and then the um, the shade. So if I pick it up, it's kind of hard to see, but you know, the first thing that that if you just threw these, um, you know, threw these in my car, I would say, oh, these are WeatherTech. Um, and, and the reason why I say that, and that's not to take away from Woo EV at all. That's to show you they're, to me, they're the pinnacle. They are the one that everybody chases. Um, and I'll have to tell you, these things are spot on. They're thick. They have a good lip to hold in, to hold in all the, uh, the moisture. Like if you spill something or snow and you're getting in with, um, you know, wet feet or whatever, rains, things like that. There's a good lip here, as you can see. Um, this is the back. Um, everything just looks super good. Um, again, I'm really impressed with these guys. Um, they, I think they've kind of knocked one out of the ball park. Um, definitely are first to the game, beating WeatherTech and the and Huskies and any other ones out. I mean, these things look good. So I tell you what we'll do is let me get them in the car and fit them in the car, and then we'll um, show you what that looks like and wrap up this video. So, so far, very, very impressed. All right, and we're back. So I thought first that we would talk about the cargo um, cover for the back, the retractable cargo cover. Uh, you know, I've got down here the one from the factory, and then I've got the one from Woo EV. And, you know, I would say they definitely look a little different. Um, I, like, I think I like the material of the Woo EV. Maybe the manufacturers need to look at this. Um, I think it looks good. Uh, I think it does what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to cover the cargo area. It definitely has the retractable points here where you can move them into the, the three different slots. Same on that side. And then, you know, they look to match up pretty well here. So, um, you know, I say it's a winner. I know that our cars come with it, but... You know, if you bought this car used and you did not have a um, car cover, cargo cover, I mean, then, hey, give Woo EV a chance. I think they look great. They retract well, so we'll, we'll retract it. 
I mean, I think it looks looks perfectly fine. So I don't even know. I may just keep that one in there for a while and 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 go from there. So there you go. So now let's move on to the mats and show you what the mats um, look like in the passenger or the passenger and the um, driver's side. And here you go. Everything is completed. Install is in. I'll move my seat driver's seat back. Um, first of all, let's just talk about the the uh, this. I guess it's the passenger side is curling up a little bit and maybe just a little bit of the driver's side, but that's from the box. I mean. You can't do anything about that. So once she gets outside and the car heats up a little bit in the interior, I think things are going to be absolutely great. Um, the fitment is what we're talking about. First of all, the material. Material is great. It's on par with WeatherTech and the other companies. Um, I don't, I don't see any any issues whatsoever. They lock in, as you can see, to the anchor points that the uh, original car um, cloth mats locked in. Um, I love how it comes up here, farther up on this dead pedal where your foot rests. I love that just because a lot of times my foot stays here. And then what if you have anything that like drips off your foot and then gets on the carpet? So I think that's good. Um, here is the fitment for the, uh, the accelerator. I was about to say gas pedal. <laughs> this is not a gas car. Um, I would say maybe a cutout would have been a little bit better to hide some of that, but it's tough because you have um, this anchor point for the pedal, so that's going to be really tough to get around that. So I understand that, and on the side is not a big deal. Um, I honestly do believe these things fit fantastic. Um, and of course, we'll do a little uh, another uh, video down the road on kind of the wear and tear, especially since winter's happening and. Alabama and we might see a snowflake or two. So, um, um, that was a joke anyway. So let me uh, move back my, my seat. Let's come over here to the back. The back is no different. The fitment is amazing. I've kept this seat up a little bit, um, passenger side so you can see. So it fits right in there in between the seat rails. The only thing I had to do is cut there is a section in here that was flat, um, and I just had to cut that piece of plastic out or rubber out of the mat. But that wasn't a big deal. I think it's designed for you to cut it for your liking, I guess. Um, it literally took me just like a second to cut it. I used a um, razor blade, got it cut. It fits perfect. I mean, you can't ask for a better fitment um, up against the center console for the front. And then, as you can see here, everything is looking really really good um the anchor points you've got these little nubs right here that they sit into of course you don't really have to worry about them sliding because they're up against everything else um, so let's go around and i'm gonna excuse the mess in the garage look on the other side same thing as we talked about i mean this thing is great it comes up perfect right here on the um, side you got you know, you got a lip here to hold liquid. I think it's perfectly fine. Maybe the lip needs to be a little bit bigger. Some may argue that, but I think it's all right. Um, and then the passenger side. Let's get the seat back. And again, I mean, just like the driver's side and the rear passengers, this thing is really, really good. Um, I can't complain at all. I'm, I'm very, very excited to have had these. Um, I know that I talked with Eddie and Eddie mentioned that he would be looking at doing some lighter color, the other interior colors of the car. So I would like to see these in this, um, this white or ash gray or whatever it's called. It would be really, really neat. So, um, guys, I, I say, this is a winner. I say, get out there and buy these things. Um, we all want all weather mats in our car and this gives us an opportunity with Woo EV. They're the only manufacturer that I've seen so far that's got that's got these um, out for sale. Um, so I would say jump on their website. I'll link their website below and um, find your car that you want. You may also have an EV6 or a Ionic or whatever it might be. They got a um, a range of different manufacturers and cars that they're making these mats for. So jump on and get these things ordered. Um, I don't think you will be disappointed whatsoever. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. And as always, ring that bell. It definitely helps me out. 
and we'll catch you in the next video.